Okay. But yeah, honestly, any any Final Fantasy remake of the old titles or re-release, I am totally down for. I wish I got on gotten on like Final Fantasy IX's remake. I think it's like a remaster. Yeah, but it's not like the Final Fantasy VII one, which is nuts and completely different. Okay. So this might be where we get to. Nope, just another item. Remedy Plus. Okay. I was expecting a little bit more from that. Isn't Remedy Plus a, uh, an item? Like, well, obviously it's an item. Isn't it, uh, like a consumable item? Oh. Okay, being asked, what do I think about, uh, that in 10 years we might be on Mars? Uh, I'm gonna give it, like, 20, maybe 30. I'm not entirely sure if it's going to be a 10-year window. Maybe, but I can never... I, I, it just seems unlikely that it's going to go that smoothly. Um, the question's being asked... Ooh, Wind Toad. Never seen that one before. Let's take out the, uh, the Tonberries first. Uh, the question's being asked, like, how are they going to get back? I don't think they are, they are, actually. Oh, well, there goes the Wind Toad. Well, I'll live. I don't think... Uh, I mean, I don't really care, and I can always come back later to catch it. Because that's just a recolor of a, of a different toad that I don't even care about. Same thing with the, the Pale Berry. I do have a Pale Berry. But that's also something that I don't care about because the we final form is stupid looking. Oh, yeah. The whole King Tonberry. Come on, give me a Nightmare Beast. Don't give me don't give me a Tonberry wearing a crown. I mean, I, it fits. But still. Okay. So yeah, we'll get to the top, and then I'll probably come back down and get the, um... Uh, I'll, I'll go up to the top, and then come back down and grab the, um... The crystal, or whatever it is. Uh, whatever's in the basement. I just don't know if I need, uh, more of these things. It doesn't look like there's a bunch of teleport crystals all over the place. Let's see what we have nothing here. We have one of these, some gray crystals. Okay. Wind resistance, 75 or greater. Actually, that should be pretty easy. We got Sylph. So as long as we've got somebody with a 25 or more, I don't have anybody in the medium category here. That's... Is this enough? Damn it. And there's nobody after Batbeard here, is there? Yeah. Okay, so we need somebody that, uh... We need a medium. Just for weight. Well, I'm glad we at least have this. Uh... To mess around with. Okay, uh... Searcher doesn't go to medium. We can make, uh, Shark Wool into medium. Kacha Queen only goes small. Uh, let's make sure he doesn't have a negative to wind. Ah, shit, he does. Unless... Night Squall. Night Squall doesn't have any. Yes. Okay, this is... This, this'll this work. It's a little hack jobby, but it works fine. I saw a, uh... I was watching... Watching... Well, I was listening to the, uh... The Final... World of Final Fantasy soundtrack, actually. And, um... I got a glimpse of what Sylph's final form looks like. Spoilers, just kind of another humanoid mirage. I don't know, I always hate that in Digimon and and, uh, and other like Monster Collection games when it's just kind of a person. Like the Quacho Queen I can work with, and Vampire Prime, absolutely. Um, I don't know what the blue crystal does. Well, let's take, we'll take this, because this seems maybe less anti-progress. Or maybe that blue crystal brings us back down. I really sh wish we could actually see the, um... I really wish we could actually see the, uh... The way the crystal's connected, you know, A, B, C, D, whatever. I like it when games kind of give you that kind of, uh, information. Okay. But no, I, I don't know. I always had that problem with, uh, Digimon specifically where it's just like... The Megaform is just like a person wearing Agumon armor, and it's just like... 
Really? Like, you couldn't have come up with something a little bit more unique than that? Guess not. All right. Okay, so where does this bring us? Oh, back down to the beginning. Well, in that case, we might as well descend, see what's down here. Seeing as we've already unlocked a shortcut. I love shortcuts in games. Like, no, no, Dark, Dark Souls is probably the first game that I ever got into that, like, really did the whole shortcut thing. Where, yep. I don't think I have any more clear crests. Yep. Uh, but, like, Dark Souls, you were just, like, the original Dark Souls, you were just unlocking, um... You were just unlocking, uh... One thing after another. And it was just... It was awesome. Cause, uh... I don't know. There's just something special about, like, making the world feel more connected. And this one doesn't... This one doesn't actually work that way, obviously. It's just, like, little levels becoming... To the fall off. Oh, I hear you. I'm about ready to. Hey, wait, you're not even walking. <sighs> Sis? Huh? Rain? Is something the wrong? No trivia, so I guess that means she isn't upset at me. Hello? Rain? Uh, what's up? Uh, that's what I want to know. What's the deal? Uh, it's hard to explain. I guess I sort of get the feeling I've been here before. Well, it does look like Ninewood Hills. It might be deja vu. The day of Jabu? Is that like Doomsday? Bow before the mighty Jabu, humans. We'll just pretend he's not the here. Rain, do you the one to take a break? I don't the mind. Oh, no, I'll be fine. Thanks, Tama. Let's keep moving. Roger the Dodger! But what about the mighty Jabu? I'm, I will now, for the rest of the game, I think I'm just going to stop whenever they're talking so they don't get interrupted by shit. So I'm starting to get a little tired of that. Okay. Oh, so at this point, it's forcing us to have flutter. Makes sense. Convenient anyway. Oh, what was I even going to say? Man, I don't even remember what I was going to say. Oh, yeah, Dark Souls shortcuts. I don't know. It was just particularly well done. This one, not so much so. But I, it's not that this is like one giant interconnected world that is all like in one big area I do like the jokes though like I it's a little bit annoying that uh Mess. come on bring it okay uh mithril giants are not oh they are weak to wind okay that's good let's kill the I hope the unicorn isn't killable. I'm actually pretty down with the unicorn's design, honestly. How's the... Okay, let's take out the sister tower. Seeing as it's pretty weak. Yeah, as long as the unicorn doesn't attack me too much, I shouldn't... I shouldn't kill it. But we also have no way of knowing. Okay. So. Uh, abilities. Libra. Please have more than, like, 1,000 HP. It would be real cranky if you do. Okay, this is disconcerting. It is very easily killed. Okay, so it's weak to blind, and it's weak to slow, and it's really weak to poison. Well, I don't think I have slow. Let's just do blind. Okay, it's got regen on itself. That's perfect. Catch that unicorn. Or try really hard. Come on. Don't. Oh, it's trying to escape now, but it can't because I got backbeard. Okay, perfect. Come on, catch it. Catch it, catch it, catch it. I'm so glad I have somebody that forces people to not escape. As such a handy thing. Come on. 
At least it's just trying to escape. Uh oh. No, fuck. That was a good fight. Okay, maybe we should take Behemoth out of the lineup for a short period of time. Otherwise, I'm never gonna catch a unicorn. Yeah, let's do it. We can switch him off into. I love Behemoth. He kicks so much ass, but at the same time, he also kills everyone. And I don't want to deal with it. Like, Batbeard has a counter, but it's it doesn't do as much damage as that. So, it's not so bad. Game's dickish with rare spawns. Escaping as soon as you try and imprison them. Yeah. Or it's dickish because they get themselves killed on my behemoth. Uh. Yeah. I mean, realistically, I don't really care too much. I've already got my, my endgame lineup. I just want to catch them if they show up. And if they don't show up, then I'll live. Okay, doesn't look like we got any available Kuza base. Doesn't look like we have any way to get across. All right, this is fine. And my battery is low. I can deal with that. Here we go. Hey, unicorn yeah, again. We got this. And this time around, I can poison it. But first, we're gonna kill the pale, pale berry because. Obvious reasons. Oh, yeah, the only thing that would mess it up. Fuck. Okay, it's not dead yet. Yeah, this is why I didn't quite get rid of the, uh... I didn't get rid of Batbeard, necessarily. Because I knew with Batbeard... I knew with Batbeard, he's not gonna kill him. He doesn't have as much of a... As high of an attack damage. But... Okay, let's try this again. I don't want to poison it. Uh, we'll just blind it again. That should be more than enough. And this time, get captured. Well, wow, that that was fast. No trouble at all. Okay, so all we have left after this is the Titan that I care about. Okay, so unicorn, a most legendary beast with a single corn or horn adorning its forehead, also known as the spear horse. Insane, but if you get close enough, the horn doubles as a coat rack in an emergency. Okay, so this can turn up, uh, turn into something else. With a name like Gungnir, Gung Gungnir probably turns into Odin. Maybe. Seems likely. Anyway, uh, so we get a unicorn. The regent's got, yeah. Like, the Unicorn definitely seems like one of the ones I want to bring with me. The only problem is it's it's medium. I actually really wish it was, like, tiny. It's also a very, very pretty Mirage, comparatively. Like, the Dark Unicorn looked kind of stupid. This one looks pretty good. Uh, so can we take it with us instead of... I want to bring the... I want to keep the Quacho Queen with us. Nah, looks like... Looks like it gets the Shaft for the time being. I'll leave it with Seraphie until we find out what its alternate forms are. Uh, I guess I could get rid of the... If I... Wow, the Iron Giant level's slow. Then again, I haven't really been bothering with him for a while. Okay. Uh, let's mess with the this guy. Yeah, I want the people that have really long... Uh... uh not really long. I, w I want the guys with the, the largest boards. Because they tend to probably have the higher stats. I'm not entirely sure. Okay. The Evolved has Sanzukin, an Odin move. Yeah, so I, fi I figured as much. I can't do anything with free. Yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna manage for the time being. We're just gonna keep progressing. Yeah, I think I can actually maybe go back and get Odin already, but it's probably like an insanely difficult fight. Uh, if you guys wanna, uh, if you guys wanna co corroborate that one for me, I'm I'm betting. I'm sick and tired of this place. You're not yep. Okay, then I'm just tired. You're gonna have to stick it out, Lon. Okay, then I'm just sticky. If you're sticky, then would you glue your mouth shut permanently? Like, uh, I don't know what level Odin Odin is. I'm like I'm a little bit afraid of trying to fight it. Right now. Okay, let's see where this crystal brings us. Well, it just shortcuts across that, which is kind of meaningless. 
Okay, you can't catch him yet. Good to know. Well, I guess let's go after the Kuza Beast first. I'm assuming the Titan is in the basement, which is what I'm trying to progress towards here. Anyway, since these guys are pretty much just weak to, uh, to physical damage, or at least, you know, they don't counter physical damage, I'm just going to beat them up. Though, honestly, like, the further I get into this game, the further it makes me, makes me feel like I really should just get a second Vampire Prime here. Uh, the, the fact that Vampire Prime never, ever needs to, um, heal himself in regular combat is incredible. Uh, combo that with decent stats, low HP, uh, some good moves, and, uh, and a, a, a evade and counter move? Like, that's pretty encouraging. Let's see, if I play Just Cause 3, nope. I don't know. I always have this, like, weird relationship with AAA games where I actually try rather hard not to play them. Um, let's see. So not really much I can do. Ooh! Wind Rhapsody. Or Forest Nocturne. Whoa! What? That's ridiculous! Okay, Moogle, you've just solidified yourself as part of the permanent party. Holy crap! That little sucker, uh, is amazing. So Wind Rhapsody, Wind Rhapsody healed everybody. For like a lot, too. Tries hard to play them. Play Skyrim and Fallout 4. I mean, I'm gonna be totally honest, the Fallout 4 thing was an accident. A complete and utter accident. Um, I, I just decided I'm gonna play this stupid thing, this stupid challenge, for stupid reasons because it would be fun. And, like, it took off and is still consistently my either most or second most popular series, kind of depending on your perspective. Consistently, it's the most popular, uh, though I think Scrap Mechanic eclipses it in views. Uh, yeah, but it's, it's one so of those bad. where uh, I did not mean for that to happen, and honestly, most, other, most of my other AAA playthroughs are just not... Uh, not nearly that successful. Okay, so where does this bring us? Back over here. So I guess we... It's a weird teleportation crystal nonsense thing. See, there are three Final Fantasy 13 games. I know. I'm very aware. Which is part of the reason why I don't exactly want to play any of them. Like, I want to, but I also know that it would be a massive, massive time sink. Uh, one that I would probably never, never escape from. Okay. Nothing there. Keep going. Who knew just how far the twin adventurers had come? Who, indeed? Okay. Will I be playing Final Fantasy XV when it comes out? Oh, hell yeah! won't hold back. Uh, like, I, I am 100% uh, playing Final Fantasy 15. That's why I've been going so hard on, um, I, that's why I'm going so hard on, on finishing World of Final Fantasy. Because I, I want to be able to play Final Fantasy 15 and not be Final fantasy out. Uh, though admittedly, I think the gameplay is going to be completely different. Obviously, the plot's going to be a separate thing, too. It's just kind of one of those, like, consistent styles. And so it's, it's one of those where I'd much rather, um, uh, it's one of those where I'd much rather just go into it kind of fresh, and since I'm going away for Thanksgiving, uh, since I'm going away for Thanksgiving, why are you talking in the third the person? Uh, that should be my like necessary break time. Okay, uh, so let's let's do a bit of mirror board, uh, mirage board management. Somebody's telling me to put slow. On my boards. Uh, I don't think I actually have the space for it. Let's check if I have an empty space here. Ah, there we go. Okay, we might as well. Oh. Oh, we have rays on that one. Okay, eh, we'll live. Uh, let's see. 
Yeah, seriously. Yet again, somebody shows up to just say the word scrap. As though it's going to convince me to switch games. God, I hate that. We must be getting near the top. This place feels less the welcoming the further we climb. The mirages are getting stronger as we go, too. Yeah, stay on your toes. Use a teleport stone if you need to turn the back, and you can access the prism case via the seraphone. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I need to see if uh, the lower level versions of uh, the Vampire Prime still get the Revivify ability. That'd actually be really, really incredibly useful if I could actually get that. Uh, cause like, then I could, uh, then I could have my, my bats, like, alternate around and do several different interesting things. Sadly, this seems unlikely. So we gotta figure out what these spell stones do. I don't know. Okay. Okay, so what do we wanna do? Not much. I'm tempted to switch the Holy Dragon back out. Yeah, let's do that. I, li I like the Holy Dragon, it's a cool design, but it it just does not hold a candle to the Behemoth or the um, or Vampire Prime, and it pretty much never will be. Because, like, the combos are so real and so freaking powerful. Yeah, I, li I like the Holy Dragon, it's, its design is great, but its, its stats are, you know, they're okay. And... I want something a little bit more than okay. Yeah. Oh, don't hit me with another one of these, like, wind combos. Oh. Okay, we should probably figure out... Libra... Water Golem. What do I gotta hit you with? Deal a lot of damage at once to create a Prism Tunity. Is all of your HP in one go... enough? Oh, shit. These guys are... a fair bit beefier than I thought they were going to be. Okay. What are you weak to? Lightning. And dark. Okay. Well, let's go. Let's hit this group. And we don't want to do items. We want to do abilities. Honestly, if I don't catch the water golem, I don't really care. Let's see. I guess drain is the way to go. Yeah, it looks like we're not catching a water golem here. The board's not that great for the dragon. Yeah, that's my problem. It's like, it doesn't have a very interesting board either. It looks cool, but honestly, as far as uh, guys I'm going to replace, uh, I'm probably getting rid of the holy dragon first. That was a good like, uh, especially once we get zapped in Babliz. Definitely going switch, to switch them out for those. Because, like, both of those would actually be... Um, Viable contenders and very long lasting. Okay, so this is probably Earth Resistance. Uh, this might be a bit rough. Okay, so it's Searcher. That's a little bit. Well, we need somebody with a 50% Earth Resistance right now. And I know exactly who, but we're going to have to waste a Seraphone on this one. Alright, you know what? That's fine. Not like I have a whole lot of uses for Seraphones anyway. Well, no. Money. I've got, like, infinite money right now. Okay. And, honestly, I'm not really using him in his Iron Giant mode anyway. So, let's just make sure he has the Earth Defense we're looking for. There's also Chrome Giant, but he doesn't fulfill the requirements. Uh, you know what? While we're here, let's go back for a second. Mirage boards. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna look at the dragon. Actually, are we... No, we still have the, the little dragon to fill out. Oh, he does get evade and counter. So, like, there are benefits to going holy dragon. I will admit, evade and counter is great. How do I feel about the XL Mirages? That they're kind of useless. I can kind of see the merits of them. They're an extra HP bar. Uh, which is a good idea. But, personally, me. Okay, so I could, I could grab one of the, like, my Goblin or my Red Cap. 
That wouldn't be a bad idea. They definitely need training. Uh... Oh, there you are. Cerberus is... Yeah, so we're still missing... Oh, right, the Dark Wolf transformation there. Uh, my problem mainly is I just don't have a whole lot of interest in um, most of these guys' like upper transformations. Oh, that's why the uh, the Queen has the really insane board uh, percentages. It's because Cochacho is stupid. That uh, is actually kind of a reason why I want to kind of consider against them. Yeah. I've also got a lot of duplicates. Alright. Uh, yeah, let's grab the goblin. I think we'll have the princess. I guess we'll keep the Quacho Queen with us for at least a little while. Is it going to do anything else? I don't think so. I guess the other thing I could have done was grabbed a, a, one of the bats. Don't care that much. Yeah, I wish the XL Mirages did more damage. I know they did what they did for balance sake, but like, it really does not feel like they, they bothered to make them particularly like powerful. It's just like, well, you got a thing, I guess. Uh, and now he's going to use up all of your AP. But at the same time, he does soak some hits, so if you're in a particularly, like, rough fight, it would kind of make sense. The only problem is then you have to kind of panic past that point. Because th now you're out of AP and you can't heal yourself or do anything of the sort. Did that actually do anything for me, or did that just reset me back to the beginning? No, 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 no. This is somewhere new. Oh, really? A mini Kuza Beats, or a, a young one, or a something or other. Okay. Let's see, do the XL1 takes up spaces? Or is it just the large spot? Uh, they take up a space in your party, but the way XL Beasts work is... Yeah, seeing as I haven't been doing anything about this, we might as well show one off for a hot second. I haven't been using them. Oh, wait, no, I don't have any more Mega Mirages. I forgot about that. Let's see. Let's see ones that cause over 40,000 damage. Okay, so there might be some Mega, uh, some XL Mirages. I just don't have them. No trouble at all. Oh, yeah. if, if, I had, if I had one that actually did crazy damage, I'd be down for it. Or, like, maybe, like, a counter machine or any number of things, but... No, they, they just take up a space in your party. Honestly, it'd actually be better to have um, two larges, two smalls, and then nothing but XL Mirages past that point. Wait, hold on. Oh, we needed to do that to progress. Well... Next time I get the chance, um, next time I get the chance, I guess I'm going to go back and uh, buy some more Seraphones, because I've only got one more, and I'd prefer not to run out. Though, judging by this creepy, dark Where are we now? doorway. Wherever it is, it's the crawling with powerful mirages. I can feel it, too. Let's be careful. Okay. Oh, hey. Uh, maybe this teleports us back down to the beginning. We might as well save. Okay. So I'm going to transfig him back up to an Iron Giant. I'm going to transfig him back to a Mega Shark Wolf. I'm not going to do anything with him. Can't do anything with the searcher. Yeah, because, like, realistically, I'm not using, like, half these slots apart from just to give them experience. Anyway, if I take this, will it bring me back down? I think it will. Well, in that case, uh, we might as well head all the way back to, uh... We might as well head all the way back down. Though, 
I like the fact that this is this is like one of the first dungeons in the game where you can actually teleport to and from the the you know the beginning and the end uh, at will and there was even a midpoint so stone I like that okay clear Chris please don't have any more ridiculous requirements here just also please don't I I have enough clear Chris right okay good watch there be a third requirement I'm gonna be pissy there's that and there's nothing past it so this is probably the way to either the Merc Rift or whatever big baddie is hiding down here which could be really bad for me I don't know we'll find out very quickly all right there's a Titan uh, I don't have anything special to do about this apart from good luck he looks angry Are we up to this? Okay, so land. I know how to get him. Uh, we want to do Hell Diver. So the reason why we want to do Hell Diver is because it's got a very high crit chance. Same thing with Cross Slash. Unfortunately, hey, there we go. Unfortunately, this guy does a crazy amount of damage. But if we can catch him. It doesn't really matter how much damage he does. Can I capture this thing? Oh, he hurts, but I can capture him. There we go. Got him. That was easy. Okay, so this guy is one big sucker. Let's see if he's any good. He's got an alternate form, which means that he might be kind of fun. Oh, he turns into, uh, what's her face's dad? Okay, a mirage made out of rock. Its mighty fist can shatter mountains, which seems kind of self-defeating, but whatever. Sheds a single tear each time it sees a sign saying, no shirt, no shoes, no service. Okay, let's go back for a second. I want to see its abilities. So the answer is, eh, he's a big sucker. I don't know if he's good, but honestly, yeah, we'll take him along. Take Mirage with you. Let's get the Quacho Queen out of out of here. We know she doesn't have any good alternate forms. Except for Quachacho, which is fuck Quachacho. And we get a Titan Memento. Which is kinda weird, honestly. Okay. Let's just take a look look at the Mirage uh the bro eh, the broad for this, the board. Okay, so she does uh she, he turns into dad monster. As well as one other one. So Madwin and I don't know what else. Anyway, Geo Crush Stabilizer. It doesn't have a whole lot of stat stat bonuses, but then again, we don't know what his maximum, like his actual stat growth is, because part of it is we have all these like Mirage Board spots. Uh, we have all these Mirage Board spots Perfect. that um. They give us stat points, but then they also gain stats based on other things. I don't know. It it's interesting. Anyway, let's let's go back all the way up to the top and fight whatever whatever big bad waits us up here. There is one more dude to to imprison somewhere in here, but I don't know where he is. And I also don't care because he's just the evolved version of something else that I already have. We might need the uh, the thing to un unlock that evolution, but eh, we'll find it or not. Oh, there's a crystal to teleport, so that might be how we do it. Bam. Creaky chair. Cut me some slack, door! Do you really think talking to it is gonna help? Maybe all this time, it wanted this someone to open up to. Oh, come on. I mean, anything is possible after all the weird stuff we've seen happen. Not the possible. And also dumb. Dude, what? But I can always just add this one to the pile. Another lawn moment? So how many am I up to now? These symbols seem to be earth, water, fire, and wind. It's the four elements. That's the right. You the know your stuff. Our mom taught us about them when we were... Uh, Rain, you remember? Huh? No, I just... Where did that come from? Maybe you've been to here. 
Or it could be your mother is somewhere close to the by. Really? Hey, I said the maybe. Uh, oh, well, yeah, of course. Uh, so what's up with the four symbols? They're probably the tie to what we call a quadrelement's barrier. Each element is defended by its own, the separate mirage. In other words, we're dealing with at least four different mirages. You the got it. All right, then. Let's track them down and... Hey, Rain, what's wrong? Huh? Yeah. We need to find the mirages guarding the four elemental locks. She wasn't even paying attention and still summarized it better than me. You do kind of have a habit of branching the off on tangents. Yep, those lawn moments are really piling up. Shall we? Let's shall. You know, I want to inspect this pile. Oh, don't even the bother. It's so the deep you this never place. be able to see it all. I know I remember yeah. it. Piles are deep, they're tall, but right? When could I have possibly come here? Oh, well, we got teleporty crystals. Wait. Hey, Rain. Don't these kind of remind you of the keys we collected? What? Uh, yeah, you're right. Maybe the keys keep them from falling into the wrong the hands? Oh, dude! I've got the right hands. I'm so worthy to use them. Cut me some slack, sword. Weird. Are these weapons even meant to be used? Given their size, it does seem kind of the strange. You do have a point. Even Cloud would have trouble swinging around one of these. And look, they have the same light as the Quadrelements barrier. It's possible that they're locked down by the same forces. Then I guess, first we'll have to the deal with those four elemental locks. All right, let's get the show on the road. Well, let's see what this does. Boss? No boss. Uh, where are we? Is this part of the previous section? Is this a new area? I don't know what I'm doing. Or is this the very end? What? Wait, Crystal Tower, Chamber of Wind and Earth. Uh, it's got a weird, okay. So I'm supposed to be here. I mean, worst comes worst, we can always teleport back to the top if I did something wrong. I'm confused because this looks exactly like the dungeon we were in. Obviously, because it's the same place. But it's slightly different, so I'm, be I'm betting I have to go this direction. Yeah, because it doesn't seem the same. So I guess there's either one or two bosses at the end of each, give or take. Okay, well this is fine. There are Moogles in this dungeon? Huh, don't remember that. Oh shit, they're durable too. Eh, maybe the frogs aren't. Don't know. I haven't really looked into how the frogs even work. Yeah, so there, there's probably two different, uh... There, there probably are two different, uh, bosses hanging out in here somewhere. We just have to go beat the tar out of them. Luckily, this team kind of specializes in that. Alright! And we don't have to, we probably don't have any more elemental locks that I have to worry about, so we should be able to just, like, charge straight through. And if we don't, we can always just, um... Oh, what am I thinking? Well, we can always use one Seraphone, and then go back, teleport out, buy things, and kind of rinse repeat. Yeah, there's no way that we went, went through this originally. Of course, now we got two different paths here, back and forth. 
Wait, what? Oh, wait, no, no, no. This is all rubble. Even if I did want to go there. That's not an option. Okay. I need a drink. I've been having bad sore throats lately. I've been drinking a lot of water to, like, offset it, but only so much you can do. Ooh, he looks cool. Oh, they both look cool. Get ready. They're coming this way. Okay. Never mind. The Minotaur looks kind of stupid. That eerie noise. It just sounds like the howling of wind. So this must be the Windlock's keeper. Okay, but why does it have so many heads? Okay. Uh Libra. So we got Tiamat and Asterius. So Asterius looks goofy and dumb. Earth Spellstone, Spellstone, Asterius Memento. Uh, gotcha. And we want to do Libra on Tiamat, who really does actually look quite nice. Maybe I will go back for the Duo Hunted Dragons. Anyway, it doesn't look like they're imprisonable. Imprisonable. So I'm not even going to bother. Okay, uh, let's hammer on Tiamat for the time being. Oh, they slow as shit. Well, that's a blessing. Then again, we are kind of over level for, the, for this, so it's not too surpri surprising that we're like a pretty beefy team to go up against this. Ah, I gotta re remember to throw on, um... I gotta remember to throw on Kira on... Lawn or something. Because if I can get Kira on him, I think we'd have Kiraga? Which would probably be even better than that, that Forest Rhapsody ability. Not that it really matters. Okay, Whisper Wind. Is Time Map weak to wind? No, he ain't. Asterius is. Okay. Let's just let's just go on full auto for a little while until we like run out of run out of things because they don't do too much damage to me. Crap. Okay, and we might as well do we might as well do this. Forest Nocturne is nuts. Oh, it missed one of them. Weird. Okay. I didn't I didn't know it, it could not affect one of the uh, one of my party members. Oh, works out. Let's let's take a time at then I can go back to just clobber nodding these guys really easily. Working great. Mainly because of Batbeard. Batbeard is not killable. I mean, as far as everything is concerned, he, he is not even he hasn't even been touched. Uh-oh. Okay, that kind of hurt. Abilities, Force Nocturne. Let's just pop that a couple of times. Oh yeah, it does heal a random amount of time. So it healed that group more than one. Wow, that is handy. Yeah, maybe I don't need Kiraga. Kiraga would be expensive. I guess I should probably have her on Whisperwind. Because yeah, he, for the most part, can heal himself up like 400 per, per hit, just regular. This group has to be a little bit more specific. No. Oh, well. Wait, did I name him Batbeard? Hell yeah, I named him Batbeard. He's the only Mirage I've actually named so far. I don't think Batbeard even knows I named him Mirage after him. <laughs> oh well, it doesn't matter. Okay, now we're back up to full. And Bulldozer. Bulldozer hurts. Okay. But we got Force Nocturne to keep everybody full. Which only healed one of them. What? Oops. No, don't do that. That hurt. Probably. Somewhat. That was not the button I meant to press. Going to be totally honest. Well, we might as well just do Force Nocturne. It's a... It's... Oh. Well, it missed. Eh, we'll be okay. It was a bat that looked like he had a beard. 
Turns out he's also my most powerful Mirage in the entire game. So... Seemed appropriate, all things considered. Okay. I'll start back on auto. Eh, there he goes. That wasn't so bad. Yeah, look at him. He's such a cool Mirage. Really well designed. That was only 20,000 in experience. Anyway, so we get the Time Mat and the Asterius Mementos. Which is cool. I'm not going to use my champion medals. They take too much time. I should probably switch my champion medals out and get some new ones, though. That took the care of two of the locks at once. Oh, nice. Since we beat two Mirages, we just need one more pair. Okay, uh... We haven't really leveled up here. What was I going to do? Oh, right. So I really care about the Minotaur. However, getting time at could be kind of cool. So let's go back here. Oh, right. I always press triangle because there's a different one where you press triangle to ac access the save point. Not this one. All right. Uh, let's get rid of the Titan. Titan, you cool dude. But I don't care. And anyway, we've got... Dual Lizard. And by Hydra. Wait, it's not... It's not Dual Lizard? Oh, it is. It is Dual Lizard. That goes into by... Uh, Time At. Okay. Well, we might as well go with that. And see what it is. Uh, so we're gonna switch out... Yeah, we'll switch out Titan. Titan's neat, but I don't really have a whole lot of use for his alternate forms. Cause let me let me double check here. Titan, Titan, where's where's the Titan? There he is. Yeah. Oh, he does actually. Oh, right. He's got a recolored version that I totally forgot about, which means I don't I don't care. And then the other side now. Okay. Oh, the the lower version is called a Ghidra. G-H-I-D-R-A. I don't know where we get that. Oh, well, don't care. Yeah, the, the Ghidra is the, the middle one. Uh, before time at. I'll go with it. I think there's also like a, or maybe Ghydra is the, or Ghidra or whatever, is the, uh, is the green alternative version to whatever tri-headed, uh, dragon lizard thing sits between, uh, dual lizard and Tiamat. Well, it's, it's, uh, worth investigating, especially because Tiamat looked pretty, pretty neat. The, like, weird bitey back tentacles were a little strange, but whatever. Okay, so what are we up against? These suckers. I think I already got the water worm. Yeah, we already got the water worm, and I really don't care about the, uh... I really don't care about the the water go golems, because I can I can get those. And I don't wanna, I'm not even sure if I want those. Because, um... I, or is it gnome? I don't know. One way, or the, one way or another, not interested in them. In them. Ah, I'm good. I'm getting sleepy. But I had to take a nap today. I almost never take naps. But today, today we, I, I took like a, I want to say it was like a half hour, 20, 20 minute nap. It wasn't long, but it was more than enough to, to keep me going. At least for the rest of the, rest of the day. Ah. Doesn't mean I need to take a break. My jaw, my poor jaw. We'll we'll finish it. We'll finish this dungeon off for for sure. I want to get my hands on. Uh, I want to get my hands on the the new uh, the new new airship, which, as far as I can tell, based on this guide, comes next, which is really late in the game. But I don't know. Maybe maybe not. Maybe it actually gives us like a big old overworld that we can go around on, and this game is not actually like 90% finished. Okay. 
I don't know why we want to go this way, but I'm going to go this way. For reasons unclear. Can I, can I get through? Okay, so as far as I can tell, there is no reason to go there, except for maybe the bridge was originally, uh... Impassable, and... Well... Uh... Christ. Both of these are freaky and disturbing. Let's go murder them. Oh yeah, actually, before we do. Champion medals... So I'm going to keep Breffy around because she's handy. Uh, so I don't have Tifa. Oh, Lightning requires two. Bart's is two. Cloud is two. Celis is two. Titus is one. I actually have a lot of these. Okay, so let's do Tifa. And... I guess Lightning. But yeah, I'll keep Breffy because she's, uh, she's a healer. And it's nice to have a heal nuke. Hello! I'm here for the fighting. Look, they're really strong. But you know who's stronger? Us. Maybe. It's a shame that one of them is just an arm and Is this the keeper of the water lock? <laughs> you fools! These dark depths shall be your tomb. Tama, you okay? Oh, he just looked like he the one to say as much. That's all. What? Kraken. Okay. He's freaky looking. Okay, weak to thunder, weak to light. Otherwise, just beat the shit out of. All right, works for me. You know I'm. Oh crap! We're in fucking the Libra loop. I was. I always forget to. Uh, I throw it on auto, thinking we're just going to attack. And then we just automatically Libra them over and over and over again. That's inconvenient. Just just keep hitting just keep hitting Batbeard here. That's all we need. Well, I'll guess I'll have to heal him at a certain at a certain point. Okay. Oh, Cursed Gaze is a slow. Okay, we should probably slow down and stop. And Forest Nocturne. God damn, that move is stupid. Like, that's... That's not even remotely fair. It really is not. And I love it. Let's see. Oh. Uh, what creatures have wa has Wonderbot collected tonight? A uh, unicorn and a titan. And that's about it. Okay. I guess she's going to need to heal herself. I like Forest Nocturne, but sometimes it's a little bit on the unreliable. Which surprises nobody. Yeah. Okay. Let's just keep curing up, and then we'll go back to hitting them. If we can take out the Kraken guy, uh, then we pretty much have nothing to worry about. Luckily, I'm not, I'm not reliant on uh, hitting these guys with spells. It doesn't even actually do that much damage. But yes, that literally is a bigger recolored armor man. Which is really disappointing. Like that's my that's my one complaint with this game. As with most monster collection RPGs, recolors kind of kill the mood after a while. Like I'm okay with a couple of them. But if like the entire if the entire game is rife with recolors, then it you kind of lose you kind of lose momentum and like you stop catching dudes because it's like, why? Why bother? There we go. Sadly, a cursed gaze is the, uh. The cursed gaze is the one. I, I really should have gone for the Armin first. But I think the Kraken. Uh. I, I think the Kraken was the more dangerous just in terms of damage. We should be able to just, um. Forest Rap Rhapsody and some other things straight through this. Should make it pretty easy anyway. That slow is obnoxious though. Okay. Forest Nocturne. Yeah, somebody was hanging out in chat being like, this boss is such a pain. So hard. 
Nope. Unless there's a later boss after this one, after we open up the door. At which point, all right, I guess. I don't know, I'm not too, I'm not too worried here, honestly. I think I've got a pretty damn good combo for not losing here. Unless they knock me instant death and being knocked down and hit while I'm down. Those two will mess me up. But apart from that, not a whole heck of a lot. I also notice Force Nocturne tends to prefer hitting Lon's group. Yeah, those Record grind walls are more pain than any boss. Yeah, exactly. I, I've played way worse games than like what this game is subjecting me to, so it's just like, no, eh, I don't care about anything. Nothing's going to make, nothing, nothing's going to give me trouble here. And we get some extra mementos, which I'm pretty down for, because I'd actually, I liked the croc Kraken or whatever. I'm going to wait until we get the more grindy stuff, though, before I bother evolving them.